church and so uh, if you need that to make it happen you go right downstairs at the church and uh, even get that done up to date you don't have to sit up in the barbershop and hear me and try to holler that you don't want to holler back at and you don't have to hear about all the crap that goes on in the barbershop because that's the one place men can go and just say whatever and uh, don't have to be judged for it but you in there and most of them gonna still say whatever so it, 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 it's do it it keeps you from being uncomfortable with them and them from being uncomfortable with, with you so you can do it right here at the church all right mark chapter nine i'm starting a series today and for the next few weeks i'm going to be in the same vein and be on this tip uh, for the next few weeks mark chapter nine and verse 17 when you find it say uh-huh uh-huh still look at wait on me we're together and the bible gives us this intelligence a man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought you my son who is possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of his speech. And whenever it seizes him, it throws him to the ground. He foams at the mouth, he gnashes his teeth, and he becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive the spirit out, but they could not. Jesus said to them, you unbelieving generation, how long will I be with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. Somebody said, take him to Jesus. Yeah, so they brought him. And when the spirit saw Jesus, it immediately threw the boy into a convulsion. He fell on the ground and rolled around and foamed at the mouth. And Jesus asked the boy's father, how long has he been like this? Father said, from a child, it has often thrown him into the fire, into the water to kill him. Mm. Notice he said, he wasn't trying to hurt him, but the devil is trying to kill him. All right. mm -hmm. But if you can do anything, have mercy on us and help us. Uh -huh. Jesus says, if you can, for all things are possible for him that believes. Yeah. Look at verse 27, I'm finished says, but Jesus took him by the hand, lifted him to his seat, and the boy stood up. Can you say amen? amen. That's enough. You can be seated, brother of God. The grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Now, you've heard about the problem that this boy's having. You saw his plight. You saw his situation. But verse 27 says, but Jesus took him by the hand, lifted him to his feet, and he stood up. Jesus took him by the hand, lifted him to his feet, and he stood up. He was down. He was out. It was over. But Jesus took him by the hand, lifted him up, and he stood up. I'll talk for a moment using as a subject, bounce back. Yeah, bounce yeah. back. Just look at somebody and tell them bounce back. Bounce back. Uh -uh, that was a hater. Finally celebrated on the other side of the church and just holler bounce back. Bounce back. Bounce back. That's what we're talking about for the next few weeks. Bounce right back. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, right. last week I was in the gym and while I was in the gym, Robert, a song came on the radio. I gotta admit, when I'm in the gym, I don't listen to Precious Lord take my hand. Come on, come on. 
that doesn't I'm motivate like me. me. When I'm, I'm in jail, I don't listen to Mary Mary or Kirk Frank because that, that don't motivate me. You, you got to do what you got to do to get what you got to have. Yeah. And so while I'm listening to really what motivates me, there's a song that came on the radio that was absolutely prophetic to me. Uh-huh. Shannon, you know, there's a rapper named Big Sean who yeah. has a song entitled Bounce Back. Yeah. While I was listening to some of the lyrics called Well in that song, something began to stir in my spirit. I, 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 and you do know it doesn't necessarily have to be quote unquote gospel for God to use it. Okay, uh, okay. God, God is sovereign, which means He does what He wants, when He wants, how He wants. God, God is so powerful that He can use anybody or anything to get a message to you. It was the lyrics, Big Mac. It was the lyrics of the song that caught my attention. And the part in the song you've heard in time too. The part in the song that caught my attention was when Big Sean says, God talks in silence, but I hear him every time. All right. Last night I took an L, but tonight I bounced back. Yeah. Now, in essence, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't understand what he's really saying is, bring her out taking yeah. some losses. Right. He says it has not been easy. He says, he said it hadn't been a bed of roses, but I refuse to let failure of the last save you. He said it hadn't been easy. I took some losses, but I'll bounce back. And, you know, I start to think about the countless individuals who have allowed failure to be the last save. But the truth of the matter is, anybody that's ever achieved anything great or any level of success, you understand that, that there has to be some failure in order to enjoy some success. Y'all not talking to me here. At some point, anybody who's great learn how to embrace failure. And you don't believe me, but if you check the record, if you check historicity, you understand that every successful innovator and athlete, and every successful icon throughout history, Jones, they share one's common belief. And that belief is they simply did not entertain failure as it was the end. Okay, they not talking. I mean, I mean, this is a church for the believers, and the believers know that everything works together for our good. Even, but watch this, watch this, mama. Even when it doesn't feel good, you gotta know God is working it for your good. It's our God that takes your failure and uses them as the building blocks for your future. It's our God that takes your test and gives you a testimony. God that takes your misery and works a miracle out of it. You ain't talking about Winston Churchill said it like this. Mama Winston Churchill said success is the ability to go from failure to failure and never lose your enthusiasm. Y'all ain't talking like I'm preaching. I I said Winston Churchill, let's back it up, give it to him one more time, John. Winston Churchill said success is the ability to go from failure to failure and never lose your enthusiasm. And that's good stuff, ladies and gentlemen, because here we are almost six months into the year, Brandy, and here we are, even though you got some keys, you picking some losses. There's in January, everybody said, I got the keys, keys, keys. But can I tell you, keys ain't gonna keep you from falling. You're not talking keys ain't gonna stop you from losing. Keys ain't gonna stop you from a bad day. And some of us have failed just this year. We, Courtney, we failed in our career. We failed in relationships. We failed in our goals. We failed in our opportunities. But I think I better tell you, failure is not final. Y'all not talking. So tell me to tell her it ain't final. It ain't final. I, I'll tell you why it's not final. Because Confucius says it like this. That I greatest glory is not in never failing, Shannon, but our greatest glory is getting up every time we fail. Oh God, there ought to be at least 30 people in this room that knows what it is to fail, that knows what it is to lose, that knows what it is to be down, but you ought to help me testify, I fell down, but I ain't going to stay down, because I got a in my spirit. I bounce back from unemployment. I bounce back from bad relationships. I bounce back from repossessions. I bounce back from foreclosure. I bounce back from a crazy baby daddy. I bounce back from baby mama trauma. No matter what I do, I take a lick and keep on taking it. Baby, I'm saying, I ain't talking no crap. 
to go back to the battle. Some of the same folk you did wrong on your way up, you gonna have to see them on your way. Notice, uh -huh. uh, big man, Dennis. Jesus noticed that there's a crowd of people together, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and he looks closer and he sees them arguing with his disciples. Yeah. Oh man, that's it. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus walks up like a boss, and he says to them, he says to them, "Don't be He said, "Don't be beefing with my disciples." Come on. Uh -huh. He said, "Anything you got to say, say it to me." Yeah. Uh -huh. Teach it. Teach it. He said, what are y'all arguing with them about? Uh-huh. Come on. Um, and he finds out very quick yes, sir. that there is a man uh -huh. in the crowd Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. that has a demon possession. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And he finds out that this man brought his son to the disciples hoping that they could help him. Uh -huh. But Rob, the text said they couldn't do it. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So the scribes, watch this, this is true. The scribes are using this as an opportunity. Uh, to, to, they're using this as an opportunity to display their lack of power. They use this to say, no, no, I told you these guys weren't real. I told you they weren't fake. They, they couldn't even deliver this boy from the devil. Now, now wait, they, they say, look, if they really had the power they say they had, they would have healed this boy with no problem. But check this out, it gets good. They criticize the disciples for not being being able to do, watch me, something they couldn't do themselves. You, you ain't never seen that. You know what I'm I mean, I mean, if they were so powerful, Courtney, and if they were so close to God, and if they were so holy, why didn't they deliver the boy themselves? Y'all ain't gonna see that. But notice they ride the disciples out for doing something that they couldn't do themselves. Isn't it a trick how Negroes will criticize your walk with God when they I walk with God themselves. Isn't it a trip how folk will talk about your issues when they got just as many, if not more, than you? Y'all not talking. Y'all not talking. Isn't it a trip that they'll dog you out for your issues and they got a whole closet full of issues themselves? I said, God, deliver me from the hypocritical spirit in the church now. But Negroes will talk about you for doing what they do themselves. You got something to say. Hey, still another one. You find out I hit patrol every now and then. You got something to say. But you ain't talking about that baller on your counter. You got a red man white. You ain't white, so. Come on. Um, 
You're know saying, Tina. Uh, he says, and whenever that mute spirit grabs him, it throws him on the ground. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh -huh. Causes him to foam at the mouth. He grits his teeth. Come on. Uh -huh. and, and when it's over, he gets real rigid like a dead man. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Now notice Come he on. said, yeah. notice he said, Kira, first thing he says is this guy has a mute spirit. Come on. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm so glad. In a new spirit, in other words, in other words, he said, this spirit has stopped him from talking. Can I tell you, the number one objective of the devil is to shut your mouth. Because he knows that's where the power is. That no matter how bad it is, ladies and gentlemen, you better talk yourself out of it. Because the power is in your tongue. Proverbs 18, 21, life and death is in the power of your tongue. And so the devil defeats you by making you shut your mouth. That's why you ought not ever come to church and be quiet. That's why, that's why you ought not ever come to church and not open your mouth as wide as you can get it. Because the devil wants to defeat you by shutting your mouth. And if he can't shut your mouth, he wants you to say the wrong thing. But when you just hunt your neighbor and tell him, don't stop talking. No. No, 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 don't stop talking. Red, what you want me to say? Stay stuff like this too shall pass. Stay stuff like it ain't gonna last. It's just temporary. Stay stuff like I'm coming out and I've got victory. Yeah. 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 See, see, that's why you can always detect the devil on your road. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, okay, got some medical students in the room. You understand medical terminology. He's having seizure. He's an epilept. He has grand mal seizure. Now, the medical terminology is cool, but the man says it's the spirit. You understand me? Okay, okay, I need to free about 20 of y'all and tell you what you're dealing with may not be a sickness. It may be a spirit. Y'all not talking. And the reason your medicine won't work and the reason your doctor keep running test after test and they can't pinpoint the problem is because it's a spiritual attack. Yeah. And can I tell you physical treatment won't cure spiritual ailments. I'm preaching. I'm preaching y'all ain't just saying that. I said spiritual problems you can't treat physical stuff against a spiritual problem. Physical problem can't be treated by spiritual. When it's a spiritual thing, I don't care what doctor you go to. That's right. When it's a spiritual thing, I don't care how much medicine you take. I take my medicine. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. It could be it's a spiritual attack. And and when you have a spiritual attack, you got to use the power of God. Okay. Uh, okay, the man, the man's son is in bad shape, ladies and gentlemen. He says, your disciples could not help me. And look, I saw this. Jesus got irritated. Uh, for one of the first times in the text, Jesus got mad. Jesus got irritated. He said, how long am I going to have to be with y'all? Come on. Yeah, Come on. Lord Jesus. Come on, Jesus. He said, how long am I going to have to bother with y'all before y'all learn how to do something on your own? Yes, oh, yes, sir. Sir. Come on. Yes, sir. He yes, says, sir. how long you going to keep running to me telling me about your mountain Come on. before you learn how to speak to the mountain yourself? Y'all yeah. not talking. Yeah. All right, okay. Show you. Okay. He says, how long am, am I going to have to deal with y'all? But at the end of it, he's mad. But at the end of that same verse, he says, Bring him to me. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh-huh. I need just just I know you're tired of your neighbor, but but just tell them, take it to Jesus. Take it. No, 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 that's the wrong one. Because they want you to take it to them so they can know what you're going through. But just touch them and tell them, I'm taking it to Jesus. Can, can I tell you, don't take this one to your best friend? Can I tell you, don't, don't take this one to your prep partner? Now save yourself some disappointment and save yourself some time. And this thing you're dealing with now. It's straight to Jesus. Because Jesus is the only one that can. I wish somebody here that knows Jesus can help. Oh, 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 okay, okay. But, but watch this. Watch this now. Watch this. Watch this now. Because this is good. And I'm going to finish it. This is good. Go ahead. Go ahead. When, but Jimmy, when they brought him to Jesus, yes. as soon as the Spirit saw Jesus, uh -huh. come on. Your Bible says it threw the boy yeah. on the ground. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, now. He began to grit his teeth. Yeah. Foaming at the mouth. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead, big guy. Young. Yes, sir. Wait. Come on, uh -huh. I was tripping on that. Because I thought, whatever you get in the presence of Jesus, come on, yeah. come on now. things would get better. Come yeah. On. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Come on, look, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> Say it. But the chat said, when he got to Jesus, uh -huh. yeah. things got worse. Y'all yeah. right. yeah. not talking. Y'all yeah. not talking. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, the text is taken to teach that sometimes it's the presence of God that produces your storm. Sometimes it's God that makes things better before they can ever get worse. See, you thought the severity of your storm was a sign that Jesus had left you. Uh, but the text suggests that the closer the boy got, Jesus, the worse his situation got. Uh, can I tell you, the closer you get to your bounce back, the worse stuff might get. But the good news for somebody in this church is cause it's looking real bad for you now. But that's a sign you're close to your miracle. I want to tell somebody that's going through the storm. I want to tell somebody that's going through the rain. That the worse it get is a sign that you're getting closer to your miracle. When you tell somebody, I must be close. I must be That's good. Yeah. That's pretty good, but it gets good. better than that. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah. Uh, Cause the boy, watch this, ain't Mary. The boy was having a fit. Uh -huh. Oh man. You saw it. Mm -hmm. The boy 
is falling at the mouth. Yeah. Come on. The boy is rolling on the ground. This guy needs Ashley immediate attention. Come on. Yeah. But you notice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Verse 21. Uh-huh. Check out how cool Jesus is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Wait, this, this is a situation y'all be calling 911 now. Come on. Yeah. Yes, sir. I mean, I mean, he needs help now. Now. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is a situation folks are panicking. Folks are holding him out. Uh-huh. So, oh, my God. Yeah. Check out how cool Jesus is. Uh-huh. Verse 22. He says, um, how long? Uh-huh. Is he going like Exclamation point. No, no. The exclamation point means there's excitement in the text, which means Jesus would have raised it for He said, Oh my God, how long you been like this? But check Jesus out. Yeah. The man is having fit, falling all over the place. He's in the dirt, he's rolling, he looked dead. Come on, Jesus. Yeah. How long? And you act like it ain't nothing. Oh my God. I'm, I'm gonna go from being panicked to being. Yeah. You understand? Know I'm being very turkey. Oh you understand? Know I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say, man, look, this is the situation. Why are you acting like it ain't nothing? Come on. Oh my God. Yeah. But Jesus stays cool, Brandon. Watch this. He's cool in the middle of a bad situation. Now, he's cool because he knew he could handle it. Y'all not, y'all not talking to me. I said he stays cool because he knew he could handle it. And if Jesus stayed cool, it was a sign to his father, you stay cool too. Because I got this one. And I know who I'm talking to. I don't know where you're sitting at in this church. But God told me to tell you, keep calm. I got this. God, I need you to just holler, God's got this. He said, he said, I got this one. Now, now you go to sleep tonight because I got this one. You, you stop your need no nerve pill. I got this one. You put down that ball and put down that joint. I got this one. Now you might have to fight in the next one, but God told me to tell you, I got this one. That's the reason you ought to shout even when you broke because God said, I got this one. That's why you ought to shout even when your body is right with me. The father said, he, he been like this mm-hmm. since he was a baby. Uh-huh. Talk, man. Yeah. Talk, man. Says, and, and oftentimes, uh-huh. the devil will, will cause him to jump in water. Come on, try to drown. Come on, if there's a fire, he'll cause him to jump in fire, try to kill it. Watch this. But here's where he messed up. He says, he's been like this for a while. Um, but if you all right, all right. I'm in right. change. On, he said, he been messed up for a while. Uh-huh. He said, but yeah. but if yeah. you yeah. can do anything. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Help. That's good. Yeah. Help. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Hey, that's where the brother messed up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Come on now. He doesn't do it intentionally, but he messes up just the same. Uh-huh. Because he doesn't really know who he's talking to. Uh-huh. Y'all not talking to Tom? Because, because there's never an if when it comes to what God can do. No, no, the if wasn't in regard to what Jesus could do. The if was in regard to what the man could do. But Jesus quickly checks him and he says, in other words, he says, in essence, you must not know who you're talking to. I mean, because Jesus straightened him out off the cuff. He said, no, 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 no. My power ain't under question. Come on, come on. Notice you said, no, if you can believe. Uh-huh. He said, if you can do it, you said, no, it ain't no if I can do it. Do you not know what I've done already? Do you not know what kind of Negro you have in a conversation with? Don't you ever come to me talking about if I can. No, no, if you can believe, I can do the rest. Okay, okay. Jesus says, if 
you believe. Yeah. Uh -huh. This shouted me. Yes, he said, all things are possible. Uh -huh. Somebody shout all. Uh -huh. Now you see that's in red, which means Jesus is talking. And Jesus cannot lie. And Jesus said, if you can believe, then anything can happen. Y'all ain't said, can I tell you the secret to your bounce back? Is your faith going to get you back in the game? Yeah. Oh, God, somebody holler, I got faith, I got faith. If you can believe it, that's what's going to cause you to receive it. See, your faith got to get so big that you get on other folk nerves. Your faith got to get so big that you look crazy to folk that ain't got faith like you. Listen, listen, listen. Your bounce back will come only if you can believe. Watch this. And belief is a powerful thing. Yeah. Belief says to me, and faith says to me, no matter how bad this thing looks, yes, sir. I keep saying it, right, it's going to get better. Yeah. 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 Your faith, and I'm done. Listen, your faith is the determining factor, hear me, in your bounce back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ain't got me. Right. 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 Let me join the whole story right now. We ain't shouting. Your faith. Is the determining factor oh, yes, in your breakthrough. Yes, sir. Notice now, and I'm out of here. Notice now, the man said, I do believe. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's all I'm reading. I brought one to you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I believe, but, but let me be honest. Yes, sir. There's some areas in my life that my faith is kind of weak. Yeah. Yeah. He says, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. He says, I believe you, that's why I brought him. He said, but but there's some stuff in me that's got kind of shaky. So he said, watch what he said, so help my unbelief. Y'all not talking. Listen, listen. I, I don't want anything to hinder what you're getting ready to do. So if there's something in me that ain't right, he said, help me right there. And the Bible says immediately. Now, Jesus says to the spirit, this is good. He says, you deaf and dumb spirit, come out him and don't go back no more. And now watch this. Now you think, watch this prophet, you think the fact that Jesus spoke over his life would automatically make this better. Come on, man. Come on. I'm done. Come on. Come on. You gotta wait. You think because Jesus spoke that would automatically make it better, but if you read the text, the text suggests otherwise. Because yeah. right. right. verse 26, I ain't preaching nothing but text. Yes, sir. Verse 26 says that after he spoke uh -huh. things God yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes, sir. God. You thought because you was coming to church and getting the word. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Talk. 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 Yeah. You thought just because you got your shout on. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. That your stuff uh -huh. was automatically going to get better. Yeah. Come on. No, 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 no. But verse 26 said it got worse. The Bible says the spirit sent him into a convulsion one more time. Slammed him on the ground until it almost killed him. Now, in fact, the crowd said he did. Oh, Jesus. oh God, this is good. Okay. People who were close to him said it's over. I'm going somewhere. You just gotta feel me. Folk that saw what he went through said. This is a done deal. There ain't no way nobody gonna go through what he just went through and come out alive. No. Now I'm preaching to somebody now. You've been counted out by people. Yeah. People that were close to you and knew what you were going through, they counted you out. Yeah. The people that know what you're going through, they said it was over for you. The street committee done put your business in the streets and they say it is finished. Listen, but can I tell you one thing? That your fall may amuse them, but your bounce back is gonna confuse them. Can the church say yes? I said they may have laughed at your fall, but they're not gonna laugh when you bounce back. Can I get a witness? And I'm through now. Thank you for your time. But if you notice, the Bible says that the people say that it's all over. Mama Jack and the people said that all hope is gone. Can I get a witness here? They said that it's over for that boy and he'll never get up again. 
He said, struggle a little fall. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Come on. Yeah. So I'm tired of talking. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. He said, he talked about me.
about some of the stuff God's brought you through. Sing a little bit today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You deserve it. Yeah. yeah. You deserve it. You deserve it. Come on, lift your hands. Real quick, lift your hands. God will bring you out. Lift your hands. God's gonna bring you through. You deserve. God's gonna bring you out. God's gonna bring you through. You deserve. You deserve. Praise is your way to get out. You deserve. Praise is the price tag on your bounce back. And when you give it praise, you deserve. The more you praise it, the more you come back. You because that's what granddad is on the deacon board. But I want to be a part of a ministry where I can grow where I go. I want to be a part of a church where I can come and not get no junk food, not get no fast food, but I need some soul food. Well, help me till I want no more. That's you who said, no, I want to join this church. I want to be part of a new thing, church. I want to join this ministry. This is where God wants me to be. I want you to leave your seat. Come back and be real quick. Come on. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, y'all. I'm praying God for my young kids. Come on. You deserve it. Come on. That's somebody else. I wouldn't let it come by itself. Come on. Come on. Well, I want to get part of this church. Come on. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you're doing. There's room for you. Come on. Hey. You. You. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
to be a fighter. Because before you can get to the army to see it, you will hear it. Hear me when I say You knew that was getting ready to fight because the army would make this war cry. That you couldn't see them, but you could hear them. And that sound let the enemy know I'm coming. And I'm coming to get back yeah, what you God. stole yeah, from God. me. And so when we say, oh, it's yeah, a sound God. that you let hell know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you might not see it. Yeah. But I'm coming. Yeah. And I'm coming to get everything you stole from me. Yeah, God. I need you to lift your voice so hell can know you come and say it. Say, Sing it 